all right so now we're going to start working on the functionality that concerns the product so to be able to create products from the front end um view product read product delete product and all that um, sort of thing so for us to start that we're going to start from the redux angle because everything we do about the product will be done on redux so from the making the http request and all of that so let me open my file explorer and here Ah, uh, the file explorer is so large. Okay, anyway, I just need to look for the Redux folder. So let's see. Okay, so this is Redux. Now, inside of the features folder is where I want to create another feature that will handle everything that concerns our product. So here, I'll just say, I'll right click on the features and then I'll create a new folder. I'll call that folder product. And then inside of the products, I will just create my product slice file. .js. And here inside of this same product, I'll create product services. So dot product service rather dot js. All right, so now we have the two like two main files we need. So first off, let's create the um, product slides and all of that. So, but then I will still open the store so that I just have it because after I create the product slides, I will need to import it inside the store. So come to product slides and I'll just use my shortcut RX slice. Hit enter on that. Aha, so this shortcut will just create that for me. And I'm going to call this product. That's the name of this um, slice. I'll call it products. So, and it needs to be a string, by the way. So, products. Aha. Then the initial states. What initial state are we going to have here? So, we're going to have a couple of them. So, the first is going to be products, single products. So, oh, sorry. Products. And I'm going to set that to null because initially I don't want to be able to access any single product. Then we're going to have products plural. So this will be all the products. And initially it's going to be an empty array. Then we're going to have some basic things. So this one we're going to say is error. And essentially this one will just handle store any error that comes from any of our http requests or not store the error just indicates that there was an error so there's is error then there's is success which is also going to be false initially then there's is loading so this will handle our loading states then lastly there is the message so if there's an error message this is where we're going to store it and initially it's going to be an empty string all right now this is not all the states that we're going to work with eventually with Redux um, in this product but for now these are what we need to do our CRUD operation with the product. Alright great so now we've created this let's keep scrolling down we have an empty reducer okay um, so we're not exporting anything but you know what just to make sure that it's not empty I'm just going to create a an action I'm not using the action now but I just don't want the reducer to be empty so that it doesn't tell me that I'm not exporting anything here so I'll call that action let me see okay so here I'll say calculate so calc underscore store value and this will just be an action that calculates the store value that's the total amount of money the store is worth so I'll just open it up and inside essentially I just say console.log. I'm not doing anything here. Just say store value. Something that's simple. Great. So now I'm also going to import something that will help us make HTTP requests from Redux. And that is the create async thunk. So here I'll just add a command C create async thunk. Aha. So this is what's going to help us make http request from redux and when we make that http request the um what's it called the result the various kinds of result we can get after we make that http request it's not going to be stored inside this our regular reducer here 
right so we need to come outside of this reducer i'll add a comma and then i'm going to create what is known as an extra reducers and this is where we are going to store the responses the various categories of response that will come from create async thunk which is what will help us make http requests so i'm just going to use an arrow function here to open this up okay and inside here this is going to take an argument and that the name of that argument is builder okay so we're not using this now we're not like doing anything with this now i just wanted to set up initially all right then of course in these actions here let's not leave it blank so here i'll just say calculate store value and that's what we're going to export so at this point we can go ahead and confidently save this guy and then i will add it to my store so in the store now i can just come here and let me duplicate this and then i'll just change this to product reducer so product oh sorry small letter so product reducer and then let's um, change the path so it's features forward slash products then forward slash product reducer product slice sorry aha now we can now come inside this our reducer and we can add it so i'll just duplicate this guy i'll change this to products and then i'll change this to product reducer okay go ahead and save and that's it so now i've been able to successfully set up um redux for this particular um product the product slice so in the next video we're now going to start making our http request so we'll start with creating a product so let's do that in the next one then